That's no moon! Hello everybody, welcome back to Star Trek Online. It is time to continue leveling Ensign Ricky. Getting on up to 60, and we are at 52 right now, and we are ready to do the next mission. So let's jump into it. This is called Revelations. A distress signal from a Federation vessel leads you to the heart of the crisis in the Delta Quadrant. I am hoping that we get some reveals here for maybe who is taking down the Borg. Admiral, we have received a distress call from the USS Callisto, which was on a research mission in a little explored area of the Delta Quadrant. We're not sure what happened to the Callisto, but we need someone to check it out. There are a lot of people on the Callisto. Good Starfleet officers and researchers, bring them home. Go to the deep space signal located in the Yontasa sector of the Delta Quadrant and answer the distress call from the USS Callisto. We will get an expert universal research tech upgrade and ooh, Vaudoir cluster torpedoes. Now if that doesn't just give the answer away right there, I don't know what does. The fact that we're going to get a Vaudoir weapon from this mission. <laughs> Gee, I wonder who the enemy is going to end up being. I've got no clue. Yeah. Kind of gives it away, but we will try to be surprised. <laughs> All right. Go to Deep Space Outpost. Where's my map? Deep Space Outpost is not on the map. It's in the Yontasa Solera sector, Al Surin, Kurtaba. I guess it's on the next the next one, Yontaso. It's way down here. So we've got to go to the next the next sector block down for the first time. Okay then, let's do that. Let's do that faster. Before I started recording, I was just looking over my mastery again. Doing the last, turning in the last patrol mission did get us up a little bit toward level 2 of Starship Mastery. So the patrols didn't seem to affect the skill points of the Mastery, but after I turned it in, that did seem to affect the skill points. And it brought me up to here, so I'm getting closer to that uh, level 2 Starship Mastery. And I am level 52 now. That means I can do a specialization In the heart point. of the war zone, a few species still struggle for survival. The choices we made on Voyager changed this quadrant, and not all of those changes were positive. We did what we needed to do to get home. Now, we must heal the wounds we left behind. And that was Seven of Nine, Jerry Ryan's voice there. Very nice that they have put uh, the voice dialogues back into the sector blocks. I like that. Something that definitely needs to be there. Part of Star Trek Online that just makes it feel like Star Trek Online, having those those voice introductions to each sector block. So now we're in a completely new sector block. We've got the Devor sector with Garen, Takara, Exycle, I don't know how to pronounce that, Nelshadon, Nular, Rivos, Lagira, Shivolia, Vodwar system, Orindal, Kinbar, Ture, Deep Space Signal, Car Car Cartella, Pensarka, Brothra, Hodos, or Tilius, or or Orlidus, Kelsid, Molinia, and Voyanti. So there's a whole lot here to explore, and we haven't even finished the first one yet. Very cool. I was also gonna say before I got cut off by Seven of Nine that we should have another specialization point, and we do, because I just hit level 52 and I forgot to spend it in the last video. So let's do it now. Um, now this one starts our ground, incoming flanking damage reduced by 10. This continues space. I have hide weakness. Let's go ahead and unlock a ground. Eventually we're going to have some ground missions. And uh, I can have the tier 1 of the ground and the space ability unlocked that way. And these are automatic. Once I purchase it, there it is. It's done and purchased and I don't have to do anything about it. As long as activate primary is selected, uh, the skill works. 
it's all set and done. So now I'll have incoming flanking damage is reduced by 10% on ground. Ta-da! That was pretty cool. Alright, begin revelations. Now this is not a patrol, this is an actual mission. I guess patrols are missions. Uh, the wording, you know, you can call it whatever. Alright, sir, we've arrived at the location of the distress call from the USS Callisto. We're no longer receiving the distress beacon, but sensors are picking up debris consistent with a Luna-class starship. There might be some survivors. Scan the wreckage. And you know what? I have a feeling we're not going to be alone. I'm going to call out or launch my Delta Flyers, and I'm going to cloak. Because that's what I do. So it looks like the Callisto is um, gone. <laughs> I don't think there's much of the Callisto left. That's bad. Sorry, Callisto. Oh, and it uncloaked us anyway. No luck, Captain. Sensors aren't reading any life signs. The Callisto had a coup complement of 350. Unfortunate. Can we identify who attacked her? Sir, we have an incoming message. It's from the outpost station. Let's hear what they have to say. This is Seven of Nine, part of a Federation research team assigned to the USS Callisto. My team and I were investigating this outpost when the defense systems activated and destroyed the ship. So, uh, Jerry Ryan, obviously back for Star Trek in Delta Rising here, voicing Seven of Nine. I think she did good on the voice acting there. It sounded all right. But uh, her face here... I think they could have done a better job of the face. There's something about it. The eyes? The forehead? I don't know what it is. Something about this face just doesn't look good. I think they could have done a better job. Anyway. Seven. This is Admiral Enzenricki of the Tom Baker. We responded as soon as we I could. I am aware of your service record. Oh, you are. Thank you for responding to our request for assistance. I was able to deactivate the outpost defenses, but the system sent out an automated distress signal upon shutdown. It is logical to assume that someone will be arriving to investigate. Please transport my team and me to your ship. I will be of more assistance to you there. Okay, they have a lot to explain. So, beam over survivors. We get to go to this outpost. We get to have seven of nine on our ship. Long range sensors are picking up inbound energy signatures. Voth ships. They must lay claim to this system. Indeed. Attention trespassing endotherms. You are trespassing in fourth aligned space. Surrender now, and we will allow you to live out the remainder of your lives on a prison world. We will not be made into your prisoners. Deal with the Voth ambush. Wonderful. Killed all my shuttles. That was weird. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target shield has failed. A 
alien vessel. You have violated a bath facility and will be. That's a lot of ships. What did Seven say? I didn't read it. Where are they going? It's not like the Voth to leave a battle they would have clearly won. Uh, that is odd. This is a general distress signal for any ships in range. This is the Tere homeworld. We are under attack by an unknown force of immense power. We require immediate assistance. Who exactly are the Tere? The Tere are a spacefaring culture that Voyager encountered in 2376. They claim ownership over the Underspace, which are corridors through subspace that significantly shorten travel times here in the Delta Quadrant. Command has been attempting to contact them without success. Access to the Underspace would be a distinct advantage for our fleets. Do you think the Voth are the ones who attacked the Tere? They left so quickly. That is one possibility. To my knowledge, the Voth and Tere are not enemies. However, there is still much we do not know about the Delta Quadrant. Well, I, we actually learn in the blogs that the Voth and the Tere are allies, and uh, that's why the Tere use Voth-looking ships, or Voth ships. All right, perhaps a show of good faith would be in order. Um, warp to the Tere system. Arrived in the Tere system. The Voth ships are in combat, but they are not engaging Tere vessels. Their opposition does not conform to any known ship in the database. Whatever they are, they're packing quite a punch. Wow, so this enemy can take down a Voth fleet as well. And the Voth are pretty powerful, especially those Citadel ships. Those Citadel ships are pretty powerful. That's not good. One of the ships has broken off and is moving in our direction. Identif unidentified frigate. The debris from the Voth ship is falling, reading massive damage to the planet's surface. I'm doing... Target I'm doing some damage. Surprise the Voth had this much trouble with them. They don't seem that difficult. I guess it is just a friggin' though. But I got him. The Voth and whomever they are fighting are speaking on an open channel. We can listen to their communications. Um, uh, is that ethical, Seven? Your defense of the Tere thieves will be your undoing. The Tere and Voth have a long-standing allegiance. The Tere's exothermic nature makes them superior to the other feeble races of the Quadrant. Then you will be loyal to the death. Um... Well, okay. The surface of the Tere homeworld is being devastated by the debris from the Voth vessels. The Tere do have a defense network of satellites and shields that is capable of protecting them, but the control network is offline. This was intentional. Their attackers deliberately targeted the area during the initial assault. There is a secondary command center on the outskirts of one of their major settlements. If we transport directly there, we will be able to restore the control network. Beam down and restart the Tere defense network. Oh, we get to have all of our bridge officers with us, and we actually have a Voth. <laughs> Maybe that'll be beneficial. The invaders attacked this facility, but they did not do significant structural damage. 
They were, however, able to take down the control network controlling the orbital defense grid. That defense grid is the only thing capable of stopping all of the debris from the battle in orbit from raining down on the planet. Small pieces will burn up in the atmosphere, and your ship's weapons can deal with some others, but a significant percentage will get through. Until that grid is operational, there will be widespread devastation. So we get the defense grid back online and give the Tare a fighting chance. Oh, there's all my bridge officers. All right, guys, are you ready? Let's see, he's got the uh, Voth Proton gun. She's got Mako gun. He's got the Cold CRM, and you have the Jim Hadar. You've all got unique weapons. You're special. There was a firefight here. One of the Tare is injured, but his condition is stable. He may be able to give us more information about the invaders. Good. We'll help him, and maybe he can answer some questions. Thank you. My name is Bellus. You're from Starfleet, right? Yes, we'd like to know what happened here. <laughs> like how we casually ask that as there as things are raining down from the sky. Yes, we'd like to know what happened here. The ships emerged from the underspace, and they were too close for our defense grid to stop the launch of drop pods. In minutes, they had knocked out the grid controls and we were defenseless. We barely had time to transmit a distress signal. What is underspace? You are not Teray. I cannot reveal our secrets. Very well. If I may, underspace is a network of subspace corridors that extend through much of the Delta Quadrant. Voyager was pulled into one when its warp field interacted with the corridor's radial wall. At the time, we speculated that the corridors would speed our journey back to Federation space. That was not possible. If underspace is a Teray secret, how were these attackers able to the use it? The attackers were Vodwar! Duh. Voyager <laughs> did indeed interact with one of our corridors, but instead of deleting the info as we requested and going on their way, they revived our greatest enemy. All of this destruction, every death, it's all Voyager's fault. Vodwar? Impossible. It cannot be the Vodwar. I... I would know. Seven, who are the Vodwar? This... this is all my fault. When we first encountered the Vodwar, they were in cryostasis. I foolishly awoke their leader in a moment of curiosity. I didn't know their history. They were conquerors, despots. The Vodwar used underspace to rule the Delta Quadrant for decades. It was only when the other races banded together that they were defeated. At the time we encountered them, when I... when I awakened them, Captain Janeway said she probably would have done the same thing. But it wasn't her choice, it was mine. I am responsible. However, the Vodwar we encountered did not have a level of technology like what we face here. This is far beyond anything the Vodwar are capable of developing in such a short amount of time. So now we form a plan My of analysis action. remains unchanged. We need to restore functionality to the defense grid. There are four nodes located on the edge of this complex. We must restart these nodes and realign them to the central tower to re-establish the grid. Analyze each node and bring them back online using the steps provided. Sounds good. Keep an eye out for any VOD war. They won't like what we're trying I'll to do. I'll go to the central tower and start the initialization sequence. Hopefully this will make the Tare like us a little better. I guess they blame us for the VOD war, but, you know... Stuff happens. I blame myself for the Vodwar's return. It was a door best left unopened. Okay, so we get to fight the Vodwar now. Good. Vodwar anchor drone. I am shooting at an anchor drone. They don't seem all that terrible on ground. That was kind of easy. <laughs> Let's see what they're like in space, but so far on ground that... It doesn't appear that all of them have shields, only maybe the tech officers. See how the tech officer likes an orbital strike. Not so much, huh? They have some unique abilities. I'm not sure what it all means yet. Gosh, shot him down to the ground. That was brutal. They're not that difficult to deal with. 
Hmm, interesting. Anyway, shouldn't I be doing something here? Yes. Analyze the Complete these steps in the correct notes. order to initialize and align the node. First, you must reboot the core matrix. Um, reboot, oh, reboot, reboot the core, I'm, I think I'm gonna have to memorize this. Reboot the core matrix. Next, you must update the defense protocols. Update, okay, reboot, update. Finally, you must align the main relay. Align. Now, what did I just say? Uh, reboot the core matrix. Update defense protocols. I think that's right. Oh, it was. And align main relay? Was that it? Or establish satellite uplink? I don't know which one it was. I think it's align. I wonder if they're all going to be the same. Uplink established. Well, that did something. It did that. Okay, uh, no delta. Line. Yeah, you know, they don't really pose much of a threat so far on ground. When we first rescued the Vaudoir, we thought we could be allies. We were wrong. Enemy targets on center. That was easy. It was not difficult at all. Analysis complete. Perform these steps in the correct order. First, you must launch the startup sequencers. Launch startup. Next, you must reinitialize the kinetic dampeners. Kinetic dampeners. Finally, you must align the main relay. Align relay. Launch startup. You guys have fun over there. Uh, reinitialize kinetic dampener. Yes, no. Um, was it a line relay or established uplink? The last one was a line relay. Let's try that. Success. Defense node online. The Tere should be really happy that we're doing this for them. You would think so. When Admiral Tuvok asked me to leave my post at the Daystrom Institute to assist the Callisto, I thought the probability of seeing Vaudois was statistically insignificant. Personal shield losing power. Well, they're not that difficult, at least on ground, so... Yeah, that was kind of easy. 709, what you doing back there? Just letting us do all the work? They do have some unique ground abilities that I haven't seen before. Though. Whatever happens here, we must inform our superiors about the Vagor threat. Naturally. I have completed my analysis. Complete the following steps in the correct order. First, you must reboot the core matrix. Reboot matrix. Next, you must update the defense protocols. Defense protocol. Finally, you must align the main relay. Main relay. Now, what did I just say? Reboot the core matrix. Uh, defense protocol, and then align the relay. And success. Okay. 
just a reminder for my ground gear, I have not upgraded anything. It's all Mark 12 steer still. Even my weapons are Mark 12. So I'm not even using 13 or 14 gear. It's just all 12. And it's working out fine. Good enough. This tech soldier's a little harder, but not too bad. Having a good bridge officer team like mine certainly helps. I spent a lot of time and effort on upgrading their gear and their weapons and everything, so so they're, they're we had good. to ally ourselves with the Terray to escape the Vodwar. My health is getting up there almost almost seven hundred here at level fifty two. My analysis of this note is complete. First, you must reboot the core matrix. Reboot. Next, you must reinitialize the kinetic damp. Kinetic. Finally, you must align. Really. Reboot. Kinetic. R relay. That should do it. Connection reestablished. Yay! Come on, Tar Tare, be happy. We did that. You did it. We did. Call from Bellas. Starfy, I need assistance at the central tower. Oh, now you need assistance. Go to the landing pad. Which is not here. I suspect it's the green circle must be behind us. So that's cool, I did that. Looks like the Vodwar are attacking. Yep. Um, talk to Bellis. Your team did an excellent job getting the defense nodes back online and realigned to the central hub here. The restart process will take some time, but the defense grid will be active in about two minutes. We'd be in good shape if the Vardwar hadn't launched more assault pods. These are mobile transporter pads used to bring more troops to the surface rapidly. I assume they're coming to stop us from restoring the defense grid. We need to hold them off. All right, easily enough done. The Jure took control of Underspace after the Vodwar were defeated. Clearly, the Vodwar object. Reinforcements approaching. Flanking damage detected. Crystal shield losing power. I think we'll put a medical generator here too. I don't know I'm doing all right, Seven. I don't know about you, but I'm all right. Well, that pushed me back. The Vodwar are tenacious fighters. We must be forced.
Accolade complete. Snake Charmer. Hello, what's happening? Skill point! Plus eight. That was dramatic. <laughs> we can't keep this up forever! What is that? It's the Voth! That's their mech armor. The Voth are helping us. Very cool. Weren't we just destroying them a second ago or something? Oh, it's a big Voth. Big Daddy Voth. Heal Soldier. Defeat final wave. Do I need to talk to him? He's just standing there. He looks ominous. Do something. We'll just take all this loot. The final wave does not appear to be happening. So these are mobile transporters, huh? Interesting concept, but if you have transporters, why do you need to shoot a thing down? Uh, I think I can take all you guys out with a orbital strike. Well, that was difficult. Not. Seven, what are you trying to do? Freak, you having fun over there? You're kind of freaking out. You're scaring me. Sir, I'm receiving a message from the Tom Baker. The Vod War are retreating to underspace. Even with their defense grid online, the Tere couldn't have defeated them. Why leave before they finish the fight? Odd. It is not odd. Voth reinforcements have entered orbit. These Vod War do not want to do battle with an obviously superior force. Really? I seem to remember the Vaudoir tearing your ships apart. While we did sustain great losses, we have made good on our agreement with the Terrain. Bellas, we have restored your defense grid. Uh, no, I did. Seven and I restored the defense grid, you mean? I'm not interested in petty squabbling about who did what. The grid is restored and we are safe. That's all that matters. Well, I did it. Sir, the uh, USS Voyager has entered orbit. Admiral Tuvok is requesting to beam down to your position. Tuvok, huh? Tuvok and seven. Seven of nine. Admiral. We detected the destruction of the Callisto. What? It was your fault. Your ship invaded the Voth outpost. You woke the Vodwar. Vodwar. Interesting. Starfleet intelligence did not consider them a threat. We believe their numbers were few and their technology outdated. Well, you got it wrong, then Tuvok. you were wrong! The Vodwar have returned, and no one is safe. I see. Seven, Voyager could use your expertise again. Will you return to the ship? That would be acceptable. Very well. We will take the other survivors from the Callisto as well. Thank okay. you. Mm, yeah, I just kind of gesture like to beam up. So seven is back on Voyager. Interesting. Now we know what happened to her. Oh, she's still there. Seven of nine has safely arrived on Voyager. Uh, and uh, then you got a problem because I just saw her here. So maybe you've got a clone. And the Vaudoir threat on the ground here is over. The Voth commander has indicated his forces will deal with any remaining hostiles. We're clear to return at my command. Okay. Well, that's all I can do.
Thank you for assisting Seven and lending aid to the Ture. However, the discovery that our old foes, the Vaudoir, have made such a leap in technology and are now threatening the entire Quadrant is troubling. I agree. Thank you. Without your help, my team and I may have been killed by the Voth. Now, however, I must turn my attention to the Vaudoir. I am responsible for their return. I must assist in their defeat. Until next time. We're clear to depart. Leave system. So that's very cool. Now we know who's back. It's the VOD War. And I'm so glad they brought the VOD War back in um, Delta Rising. Makes a lot of sense. When the episode ended with the VOD War, they were like, you know, we're going to retake the galaxy one day or whatever. It was very ominous that they were going to somehow regain power and control and do what they did in the past. And it seems they have accomplished this goal. However, it seems they've made a leap in technology because they were 900 years out of date when Voyager brought them back, or when they were reanimated. So their technology was older, so the fact that they can now take out the Borg and take out a Voth fleet is very troubling. Somehow they have had a leap in technology even over us in, in, a, in 30 years. That is very troubling. Where did they get that from? They've had to get it from somewhere because they couldn't do it themselves, probably. So that's interesting. I wonder I wonder where that came from. Anyway, that will, uh, in this mission or this episode, I guess, let's turn this in. Revelation. I've read Admiral Janeway's mission logs from Voyager. It would be troublesome enough to have the Vadwa return in force. They're an aggressive and difficult species. But if they have technology and forces that can defeat the Voth, this does not bode well. I agree. We're going to get some uh, research tech upgrade and a Vodwar cluster torpedo. Very cool. So now we have that. And now we're here on um, leveling. So our next mission, is it a 52 or a 53? No, it's still a 52. We'll see if it takes us to 53 or not. I'm interested to find out, because we need to be 53 to start the Kobali front. Okay, so that's cool. Um, we are where we are. Let's look at our Starship Mastery again. Getting closer to level 2 on that. And our um, specializations, of course, we don't get another point until we hit 53, but we have the ground and the space one activated. Okay, well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed Revelations. That was a fun episode. We were introduced to the threat of the Delta Quadrant, which is the Vaudoir. And they are back in force. So that's interesting. So, um, yeah, that was that was good. Good revelation there. Good mission. I enjoyed that. It had both ground and space. It was uh, entertaining. That's a good mission, a good balance right there. All right, well, uh, thank you, everybody. Stay tuned for the next one. It is Enemy in All Places, and I believe that's going to be another patrol video, which is weird because we just had one right before this mission, and that's what I was saying is that a lot of these missions are actually patrols, but they advance the storyline, so it's not too terribly bad, and I like patrols, so I'm okay, I'm okay with that. All right, well, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for the next one.